Finding Dory, the sequel to the 2003 Pixar hit Finding Nemo. When Finding Nemo came out, sales of the orange clownfish, the fish Nemo was based on, went through the roof. The same reaction is expected this time, only with Dory on the menu. However, the real-life Dory, unlike the gentle clownfish, is bigger, more aggressive, and is not nearly as easy to take care of in a home saltwater aquarium. Dory is a blue tang. They're also known as Pacific Blue Tang, Royal Blue Tang, Hippo Tang, Regal Tang, and Pallet Surgeon Fish, among other things. The fish is rather flat, like a pancake, with a circular body shape, pointed snout-like nose, and small scales. Blue Tangs often look like they're wearing lipstick, although they really don't have fish lips. Dory can grow to 12 inches long. That's huge! Despite its name, the blue tang is not always blue. It can change color at night because of the way light is reflected from the pigments in its skin, becoming kind of grayish with a shade of violet. The regal blue tang is one of the most common and most popular marine aquarium fish in the world. They're found in reefs off eastern Africa, Australia, Japan, and Samoa. Blue tangs typically live in pairs or sometimes in small groups of 8 to 12. As a kid, Dory's diet consists primarily of plankton. Adults feed on plankton too, but will also graze on algae. On the reef, they browse for algae throughout the day. They also eat small invertebrates, such as tiny crustaceans and worms. Blue tangs are instrumental in keeping the algae levels on coral down to a manageable level. Without the blue tang there to eat as much as they can, algae could overgrow and suffocate the reefs. No, you can't eat Dory. The blue tang has poisonous flesh. Eating it may cause a form of food poisoning passed on by certain reef fish that have toxins in its flesh. It probably wouldn't kill you, but you'd likely get some nasty diarrhea. And the real-life dory will cut you! She has a very sharp spine that can stand erect as a means of self-defense. Because of this sharp, scalpel-looking spine, the blue tang is part of a family of fish known as surgeon fish. The name surgeon fish is derived from their possessing razor-sharp spines. These scalpels are located at the base of their bodies just in front of the tail fin. With a quick twist of their tail, their scalpels become nasty weapons. The regal tang is commonly found in the aquarium trade, despite being one of the more fragile popular fish. In captivity, you need to feed them plenty of vegetable matter, including nori or leafy green vegetables. You can feed them these foods with specifically made vegetable clips sold at most saltwater fish stores. Regal tangs do have a few specific health concerns. For example, they have a vulnerability to marine ick and other parasites. It can cause some serious problems in reef aquariums. You've got to treat the entire aquarium, and the medications for ick may kill coral and other invertebrates. Additionally, regal tangs often get collected during something nasty called cyanide fishing, a practice that initially stuns the fish and makes them easy to collect. Tangs caught this way typically die several months later from poisoning, often with no warning. So only purchase blue tangs if you want to go this direction from trusted fish suppliers. Once regal tangs get established, they make pretty hardy aquarium fish. They also work well in reef tanks, since they rarely bother any types of coral. However, when they reach their adult size, about a foot in length again, and weighing in at about a full pound, they can become more aggressive. Regal tangs are not as aggressive as many other larger surgeon fish. You can avoid aggression issues by not including other tangs or similar looking fish in your aquarium, or just adding the tangs last. In the wild, Dory can live up to eight years. So let's learn a little bit more about buying and maintaining a surgeon fish, a blue tang, in your own home aquarium. We're going to talk to Joe Aqua. He's the owner and operator and lead technician of Aquatic Start, an aquarium maintenance business in the Philadelphia, New Jersey, and New York areas.